Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Great Tech Community Mod or Community Edition Unofficial. Last time, I believe we got all of our machines running over here, and currently a bunch of plates ready for this episode. And we're since I've just kind of been AFK and doing some other stuff, been macerating as much ore as I can. Even though I know I said you don't really want to be doing that right now. Got that up and running. We're doing plenty of charcoal, and we still got a blast from this is blazing. Got another stack and a half of steel getting ready there. And we have some more steel. We actually had two stacks in a bit for a little while, but I've been using it to make some mining hammers. Go well, mining. So we got tons of iron. And I got even more. Filling up this chest with the brown and yellow limonite. Got plenty of malachite from that malachite from that vein. It was more banded ore, but that's the one I've been smelting up the most right now. Um, so to work on getting towards the next stuff, I figured first thing we need to do is we need to get some glass. So to get glass in this, like I said last time, we do have to have these molds because you put it in an alloy smelter with one of the molds and so let's just go ahead and look at that so first thing you need to do you need to get some flint and quartz sand to get the quartz sand i've already done that you can either take a mortar and pestle or macerate some sand I'll show you that recipe here in a second let's grab out some stone Maybe grab out Let's just do two pieces of iron since it's not too expensive for that stuff. Okay, mortar and pestle. Let's grab out some more sand. Let's get four more. I already have 22 in my inventory right now, which is quite a bit, but that's how you get your cork sand there. And then we're going to need to get some flint. And so if you need to get some flint, just put gravel with a mortar and pestle, or you can macerate it to get your flint. We'll just do about 15 there and probably just do like four. So if I look at it, we need tiny piles of this. And so each one of these makes four small piles, or if you do right there, so it is shaped crafting. It does have to be there. Um, but in that spot, it'll give you nine tiny piles. So that'll be more than enough to mix with our quartz sand. Let's go ahead and just get that in our inventory though. Get that for our quest. Make one more. Put it in. Make sure it recognizes. Put that one down, and then we just combine the two together, and we get some glass dust. So now with the glass dust, let's go ahead and put the tiny pile of flint dust away. But with the glass dust, we're gonna come over here, grab our mold block, put that into the alloy smelter, pop in a single piece of glass, that'll go through its thing and give us a piece of glass. Steam is full, so we should be fine. And there we go, we have one glass, so I'm gonna go ahead and st stuff in like seven more, just to get like seven, six blocks, or eight, eight blocks of glass. And that will finish that kind of stuff. Oh, nope, it wants us to make the glass tubes, that's right. So to make the glass tubes, you need the ball mold in there. I needed the glass for something else. Well, that was the other reason I kind of figured I probably shouldn't do all of it. Seems so good. Losing a little bit of steam, but that's why I got two of the generators come to back it up. Take that mold out. He's already going to craft the block. We'll dump that one in. We'll just dump the rest of it. We'll let it get going. Do that. Okay. So that'll be complete as soon as we pull that out. And while we are waiting for that, I wanted to get started on the steam grinder here. This is going to be a way to massively increase how many ores we can grind up at once. And I can then just basically take this entire chest here, 
stuff it in a, a chest that'll automatically import into it, and then you won't have to like worry about it at all. Just automatically we'll go pull out of the chest with a hopper, grind it up, and then once we get through this, we can get towards building a smelter that smelts just as fast as it. So that's that's gonna be the goal for that. To do that, let's grab these real quick, get that quest complete. But to do that, we're going to need another material that the steam grinder itself requires, which is potent. To make potent, you have to make it into dust. And to do the dust, you have to do six copper, two tin, and one lead. And that'll yield you quite a bit of dust. So let's we'll go ahead and get... Should yield you nine pieces. Yeah, so nine pieces of dust. So that'll give us 18, and then from there we just gotta smelt it up. So let's go ahead and grab that in there. Grab ourselves a bucket of creosote. And dump that in there. Now you might have noticed I've got that concrete that I had over there out in the path, and that's just because it lets you walk faster. I get a little bit of lag spikes walking on it, because Minecraft doesn't like it when you go really fast for no reason. Let's go chop down this tree over here. Oh, oh. We made it through some of the tree. We're gonna have to come back to that. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and dump that for God's sake. Here is where it is. Now, I do have another drawer, and this drawer does have like an upgrade on it. Leave. Oh, oh no, that's not. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and empty this one out and try to dump it all into this main one at home. Because this is the one that I've got its storage upgrade in. I had it over in my mi iron mine there. And using this to pick up all the stone after mining. And I did completely exhaust an entire iron vein, so I'm gonna have to go to a new one. The one that was over there, pretty close by, it's completely gone. So, now that we got eight, the next thing that we're gonna have to do, we're probably gonna have to check on our steam reserves, because it looks like we're probably not gonna be able to do that. Take the dust out here and remove that. But to make these gears, you're going to have to put it into a gear mold. Now it does take quite a bit of steam, so I'm actually going to have to let these build their reserve back up and all of the pipes and everything to be able to use that. So I'll let these continue out right now while that works on it. And we're going to work on building what I needed the glass for, which is some... Um, to make one of these, the high pressure liquid steam boiler. So to make those we're going to need seven steel plates, five of these wrought iron plates, and a bunch of bricks, which I thought I had got started, but I forgot to do that. So we'll get that started. I'm going to go ahead and check on this real quick. So you need seven steel plates, one piece of glass, one of these, which requires three bricks, and five of these wrought iron plates. So let's see how many I've got. I've got three. So I need to make three more wrought iron ingots to make two more plates. So we'll go ahead and pull that out. And I'm going to get the plates done as well. So we need nine make six. That will make eight. So let's go ahead and get these into nuggets. Dump those in there. Go grab us another creosote. You may notice I'm using tons of creosote for this because creosote is essentially a free byproduct right now. So I might as well use that instead of instead of using the charcoal which is needed for making my steel. 
So we're gonna come over here and drop all of those directly in the hammer forge. That'll make me my eight plates. And I will be back when I got the plates and everything set up to build the high pressure steam liquid boiler. Pressure. Alloy smelter, it's furnace, we want the liquid boiler. So we need one of these wrought iron holes here. Pull one of those. High pressure liquid steam boiler. Just gotta throw our high pull in there and voila! We got one of the high pressure steam liquid boilers. So, I did get another one of these water pumps set up over here, and we're going to get set up that first one just right here, and we'll be piping out our steam in this direction here. Um, it does say in here, which will be the high pressure boilers, with a better source of steam power, keep in mind, the conversion to LV machine, to electric, when you do the LV machines. The more you make the easier it'll be. Uh, solids use regular solid fuel. Liquid uses lava or creosote. Solar boiler, boiler burns nothing. It works on solar energy. And they basically say they're all pretty good. You get any of the three to complete this quest. So go ahead, check that off. Get a bundle of iron there. And then with that. We're probably going to be wanting to use these pipes here. So I'm going to need to grab a couple more of these pipes, which if I make the one, which I'm just going to have to hammer these two ingots to make the one, despite it being a little bit less efficient, it's, I don't have the third one to get a second one. So just do the one there. And then we do our oops, hammer. Should be the file. All the way around? Nope. Um. Pipe. So. It's a wrench in here. That's what it is. Okay. Toss a wrench up in there. Oh, we got our steel hammer. It's not supposed to be in there yet, but whatever. So, by doing that, we'll complete that quest. Get a couple more of these plates. This will let us make some more of these fluid pipes. We just use these seven. Be able to pipe more steam. So, do it again. Grab. Ouch. Always forget that you have to place it on the pipe. When you take the time to goof around on another mod pack for a little bit and then come back, you forget. Great tech, you have to place it on what you want it to connect to. Alright, that gives us quite a little bit of strand here to go through. And now, with it being a liquid boiler, we're going to be filling up water and some sort of fluid over here. I'm hoping to get this stuff done, so let's see where we're at here. 12 logs left. We'll go ahead and let that finish. Once that's finished, I want to move these over to there and fully automate it to be automatically pumping creosote into there and automatically pulling out and putting in wood to continue the process. So that'll be something that I definitely want to get going with that. I am going to go ahead and get some stuff set up to make some more boilers. Because that one is not going to be enough to just to power the high pressure machines. I know that for a fact. With even the 30 rate, which it, it's double the uh, solid fuel one. Uh, even two of these doesn't really fully power a line to be able to help you use all of the machines that you're going to be using. In the meantime, while we are waiting for other stuff to hammer down... Gonna start grabbing out some of that bronze. Looks like 
both of our gears are complete, I think we're going to wait off on the grind. Because we do need to build an extractor. Start getting towards rubber. And so to build the extractor, we're going to need... I think I actually have all of these. Oh, no, we're just missing the piston. Which... I don't think we're even missing the piston. We are missing the piston. Okay. So we'll do that. Regular piston here. Let's try that again. Regular piston. One of those. Right there. Steam extractor. Hold on. I should finish this quest. So this extractor is used to extract rubber. So may not. Not many recipes are in the extractor, but it is used for rubber, which you will need after steel. You can also process dirt in the extractor for bones, which make bones bone meal for crops. So if you need bone meal, just put some dirt in here. We'll go ahead and claim that. We're not going to leave that as... I'm not going to basically use this just yet because I'm just going to upgrade all of my machines to the next tier here. And so... To do that, we're going to be needing a bunch of wrought iron plates. So, I kind of forgot that I need a bunch of wrought iron plates and some apparently tin alloy fluid pipes. So, the recipe for the tin alloy should be. Oh, there's one there. So, it's one to one tin to iron. So, we're just going to go ahead and grab. Stack of iron, stack of tin. We get those in there. Let's go ahead and look at that. Our steam reserves for quite a bit. Still chugging away with that. We'll scrap those out. So we're going to be upgrading this soon enough, anyways. Let's see where we're at here. Got eight more. Not too much longer on that. So, I'm gonna go ahead, pop those out, pop those two in, get those going. Let's see how fast we're draining. Not too bad. These are gonna be burning for quite a while because I do, did put the charcoal blocks in them. So, While we're waiting for upgrades, let's actually go ahead and work on the grinder. I changed my mind again. But for the grinder, we need... One of these, or we need tons of these casings. So let's go ahead and start with the casings. Each of those crafts makes two. Let's get out some all of our bricks. Let's smelt it up. Get us a decent amount of these. Chuck them in the chest so they're already there. Chuck those in, and we will do. First thing we need is not hull, it's casings. So, still remember the recipes just like that. Let's, you know, let's hammer on bottom. I might as well just look it up. Casing. We need that one. Of course, I did not click out that. And I did not click out of that again. Alright. Wrench has to be in there. Get a wrench. get up to you. Oh, broke our wrench. So let's go ahead and make a steel wrench just so we don't have to worry about the durability on that for a second. Alright. Steel wrench. Pop that on in there. Make some more of these. So that's 22. Pick the quest. We need an import. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, steam grinder, steam hatch, input and output bus. So let's go ahead and get a macerator. You do need a 
incinerator. Uh, we have two more pistons. Out of wood and cobble, so let's go ahead and grab a stack. That. Grab. We should have a stack of wood to just toss in here too. One, two. What's that? Now we just need the macerator. What do we need? We need some more pipes. Let's go ahead and make those more pipes. Four. Macerator requires two diamonds. Should have them right there. Macerator. And then we need the steam grinder. And the gears. So that makes our steam grinder. Output. So we need our output bus. Let's just go ahead and type in steam. That'll bring up all of our stuff again. So we need a get the hammer back. Steam hatch. For the steam hatch, we need a bronze drum. Let's go ahead and get one, two, four. Get this bronze drum with two of those. Nope. One more over there. Gives us that steam hatch. There is. Oh, we gotta get two of these bigger pipes. Input steam is gonna be wrong thing. Once again, right there. And one of those. Gonna need two of these bronze holes. And it looks like I'm out of my copper plates. It's a good thing I got one more. I'm going to add three. And... Slap those on there and get going. We're running a bit low on steam. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over here and grab me a wooden mallet. Bought this machine, stop it from consuming steam for now. And we'll be back when I got more of the materials ready. We are back trying to finish up this machine. And I know I'm going to have to make more casings, at least I'm pretty sure. We got two of these bronze holes. We just need to make two chests. So let's go back to steam again. Make our input and output buses. Basically just got to have two chests. And then it's which place they get placed on. So if they're on top. So it's not showing me the... It's on top, it's an input. If it's on the bottom, it is an output. Let's make sure we get both of those. Okay, uh, with the 16 casings, I believe that'll complete that. Give us a little bit more bronze. Just dump that bronze in. There we go. Dump that bronze back here in the chest. And then along over here. I do want to place it over on this side so we can have the machines opposite of each other. So going to look at it. The recipes are handled in JEI so you can look at the multi-block structures in there. Uh, buses and hatches automatically import and export so you don't need a uh, hi, uh, hopper. So you can simply just place a chest or drawers next to it. Um, this multi-block is much more expensive than your typical machines at this point. You will need some alloys you have not crafted yet. Either be prepared to spend a lot of resources or wait till you start the LV age. It will be easier. I'm just going to go ahead and get this and the smelter up now because that will help me be able to advance a lot quicker on screen. So... 
get the grinder up now, and then I'll be able to just mass smelt creosote. So that'll help. But now if I go over here to the steam grinder and look up recipes, I have to do that again because that sorts too. So steam grinder recipe multi-block pattern. So for the grinder, you need the main block in the center, six casings on the bottom, and then however you want to orient these can go anywhere. But it's basically just an empty cube because that center there is empty. So what we're going to do, we're going to place it right here at the edge. Eh? Now I want to place it a little bit in because I want to make one more pump here to pump my uh, steam into it. So we're going to make sure we're two blocks away there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then knowing that the steam is going to come in a little bit higher, we're going to go ahead and place our steam vent, or steam, out of the way, sheep. This is the grinder. Grinder will go up front. We will put the output here. We're going to put the input on the left. We don't need the extractor. We need the fluid hatch. That I'm going to go ahead and place right here. I don't think I have enough blocks to finish this, so I'm going to have to go craft the last of them. Yep. We need six more pieces, so let's go craft the six more of those holes. Figure that was probably what we were going to make, be missing since it requires six of those holes to make the grinder. Um, so we just need this one right there. So one, two, and three of those. Now we can come right over here, and then you'll see as soon as we finish this up, it should modify all of the blocks just a little bit, make them look similar. There we go. So that means that is complete. So it does need steam, so we're going to basically finish up getting our high-pressured steam stuff so we can move that over here and move those old boilers that use base uh, like solid fuel over here and I'm going to plant them over here probably there and there and have them pump in the steam for this one as well as the um, the furnace that'll be coming up here after we get in bar we can get a steam oven which is basically the same kind of deal as this it requires slightly less blocks but it will smelt our stuff way faster the same kind of rate here which this one can do up to eight things at a time so um, it does look like we're running out of time here now, so next time we will go ahead and get this running in online and the redstone here. But first, we're going to have to be getting this high-pressured steam uh, machines online. So, to get that, I will have this automated next time so that I can just pipe in free creosote. See you guys next time. Bye.